Hey what's up guys it's King Hype here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get live and or uh, interactive wallpapers for your windows desktop or laptop doesn't matter. Okay so let's get right into it. So uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download wallpaper engine on steam. Uh, this isn't really going to be like a review this is going to be more of a how to use this wallpaper engine and how uh, how you kind of uh, mess around with it how to download stuff. So now we're just going to close it and we're going to exit it uh -oh. we're going to exit wallpaper engine so this is my uh, normal wallpaper it's not live or anything uh, if you want to uh, show the desktop it's not nothing special but uh, I don't do that this stuff is not included in the wallpaper engine this is rain meter I might go over that in another video or if you already know how to do that it's great but uh, yeah that's that so what you're going to want to do you're going to download this it's four bucks it's pretty cheap in my opinion Gonna wanna, you know, just it comes with about 10 to 15 wallpapers already installed, and these are all live. These are all adjustable to your preferences. But uh, yeah, that's what it is. And then when you download it, it takes about five minutes to maybe download at max. And you're just gonna download. You're just gonna launch the normal one, unless you have like a 1080 or something. You're gonna go with a normal, because this one is actually it basically draws from your RAM a lot more and I have the uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM and this one still runs a little slow sometimes but uh yeah wait for it to run it's running here so right here it's gonna run it's not gonna launch the program but it's gonna run so what you're gonna do if it shows up here click on it here if it shows up here click on it here just right click on it and click change wallpaper and normally you should get about you should get these uh, most of these you won't have but some of these you will uh, just we're gonna go over the uh, normal ones so for instance this is one that comes stock this is a cool wallpaper you can these ones you can change the rate you can get really slow it's still live but it's very very slow you can make it go fast I like it fast because uh, it makes it look more live you know and then blue earth for instance this is another one because you can change like the scheme color uh, I did not enable this, but I have I have like a mod installed that makes my taskbar clear. But if you do not have one, you, it'll change the color of your taskbar. You can change that here. And I think you can do that normally without this, but that's another cool feature. You can change the playback right again. It's kind of cool. Uh, there's volume on some of these. Most of these actually do have volume. But uh, yeah, and then also another cool thing I found was there are some. Uh, that come with audio visualizers. Say if I was playing music in the background, I don't want to because some of my music, like Spotify, is like personal information. But uh, yeah, it like like spikes out, you know, audio file. It'll again spike up and down. But uh, yeah, so basically that's what you want to do. It'll run in the background. It's like say if I want to click audio file, click OK. It won't like have this open down here, but it'll have it open down here. It, or it is. Uh, and if I open the task manager, it is consuming some RAM. Oh. It's consuming. I know it's not consuming much right now, but it it does consume RAM. So that's kind of something you want to watch out for if you have low RAM. But uh, yeah. So this is Wallpaper Engine. I'm gonna go over how to download stuff on the workshop and how to uh, how to just mess around with that stuff. So you're gonna go to the change wallpaper again. There's two ways to do this. You can go to the change wallpaper. You can right click on it. You can go to browse workshop here. Or you can go over here and you can just click, I think, is it here, workshop, browse workshop. I have a Steam skin, but you can I sh should be able to click that and go in there. And uh, you can <laughs> you can play you can play other games as long as you have an X out of this or clicked OK. But let's go let's go in the workshop. We'll see what's in there. A lot of this workshop stuff is gonna have a lot of anime. For instance, here's anime right here. Uh, anime, anime, anime. If you got the most subscribed, it's gonna be anime, but uh, top rated all the time. This will get you some cool stuff. So, so for instance, this one is a little graphically demanding. I'm not gonna run it, but that's a cool wallpaper. Um, what else? There's just a lot of really, really cool wallpapers in here. Like for instance, that one is very, very graphically demanding. I think I have it here somewhere. This one checks out. It's really really cool, but it runs. It's kind of harsh. That's a cool one. I think my favorite one would have to be Deep Space Three, because I have Rain Meter installed in with the uh, with one of these. I think. Uh, 
Oh, shoot. All right, if I load the center clock, it'll come up here, and it's kind of a, it's just kind of a cool wallpaper to have. But there are other really, really cool ones. If you go in the workshop again, you can find like, for instance, uh, if you like Black Ops, that one's like just the intro of the guy like you know switching, switching his hand and stuff. This is a nice one. Uh, it's also one of my personal favorites. Right here, it's a cool one. It has the snow. This is a popular wallpaper, but it just uh, live the snow. This stuff is not supposed to be part of the wallpaper but uh other ones interactive ones there are interactive ones of the workshop this one comes built into the wallpaper I'm, i haven't messed around with the interactive ones yet but there are interactive ones there's one to like follow your mouse around ones that'll like you know you can drag their sheep around i think there's there's more choices but i haven't messed around with those yet Shim some of them like shimmering particles you can change the colors on these so you like the teal color you might want to go with teal and like blue or something it's kind of a cool wallpaper it's like the dynamic for apple devices uh retro this is a kind of a cool one too but it looks this one looks a lot better on uh, fast because slow it doesn't even look like it's moving and you can change the uh schemes with these which is kind of cool solar system this is an okay one this is one off the workshop so again one of the cool minimalistic wallpapers there are kind of hardcore wallpapers like battlefield one's a good game this is kind of the interest screen this one's a little more graphically demanding, but it's also a nice wallpaper. So yeah. And this is just a kind of a tutorial on just how to use it. It's just showing you, you find it here, click change wallpaper, and you can, uh, you can just mess around with it. So say I wanted just, I'll just, say I'll just keep deep space. It'll exit the program here so I can play my, uh, like say I wanted to play, or I don't know, political machine or something, I'd play it and, uh, and I'd be able to run that in the background while well, this is running in the background. This isn't like a Steam game. This is just like a tool, you know? But yeah. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Uh, next video, I'll show you guys how to use a rain meter, how to set that up, how to use it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, this is King Hype signing off.